Hey, retro tech friends, and welcome to another edition of Dave's Retro Video Lab, the show where I check out old school video gear from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Now, ideally, I hope to buy retro tech which works, but sometimes I end up with a dud, so that's when I call upon my lab assistant, The Crusher, to help me recycle the old, non-working hardware for me. Oh, I'm sure that did not tickle. Anyway, what happens when you take this and you take that and you squish them together, you get this. To be or not to be? That is the question. Cut! What now? I forgot to put a tape in the camcorder. You suck. Well, okay, maybe you didn't get quite that, but in 1985, what you did get is this full-size VHS boat anchor, otherwise known as the Panasonic PV200D. The 200D was a simple, yet revolutionary camcorder for its time. Yes, I know, I know, I know, my retro tech friends. Camcorders were certainly on store shelves by 1985, but they were not full-size VHS camcorders, which made the introduction of the PV200D and others like it a big deal for consumers at the time. I mean, let's think about it. You could drop in a full-size VHS tape, record, say, a birthday party, then take that tape to almost anyone's home and watch it there. This was huge. It made sharing home movies just about effortless. Now, there were no need for adapters, no duping tapes, just grab your memories and go, right? Now it's time for our camera close-up segment. Take a look. The Panasonic PV200D full-size VHS camcorder hit store shelves during the fall of 1985 and retailed for $1,500, which is the equivalent of $3,800 in today's dollars. The 200D is built around a one-half-inch Nuvicon pickup tube, which can output 230 lines of horizontal resolution. Minimum illumination is rated at 10 lux, though for better image quality, this light, thirsty panties Nuvicon pickup tube will want at least 1500 lux for improved image reproduction. Typical of most cameras from this era, the PV200D has a 6 to 1 zoom lens with macro functionality plus electrostatic autofocus, whatever the heck that is. And finally, break out the Ben Gay because lugging around this full figured camcorder will almost certainly inflict some shoulder pain. This porky panty weighs in at over 8 pounds with a tape and battery. Okay, let's fire up this candle, shall we, and see if this PV200D works. To save some time, I've plugged in the camera's power supply. I've already hooked up the audio and video cables. All we have to do now is turn it on and see if it works. So here we go. Okay, I heard a noise, that's good. How's the viewfinder, do I see anything? Oh, hey, I think it's, uh, it's coming to life, that's good. Okay, let's switch over to the monitor. Hey, there we go. We have a, not a great picture, but it is a picture. Uh, let's go ahead, put in a tape. Okay, so far so good. It sounds like the camera is spooling up the tape inside. So uh, keep your fingers crossed. All right, here we go. I am rolling to record in the camera. I hear it recording, that's a good sign. All right, so the image quality is so-so. It looks to me like the Nuvicon tube <laughs> is running out of gas. All right, so mm, I don't know, my retro tech friends. Uh, this one may see the crusher. I am not entirely sure yet. Let's go to the tchotchke wall. Look at that. There's my one of my favorites. It's a Canon. I think it's called a VC50, I believe. All right, let's meander down here. Oh, there's a favorite. That's a DSR 300. We'll check that one out soon. 
Ah, okay. Well, I guess the true test here is to see if the camera's uh, VCR section actually recorded what I was just filming. So, on the top of the camera, you have this little uh, VTR area here. We are gonna go ahead and, let's see, we are going to stop. Now, when I rewind a little bit of what I recorded, we're hoping to see on the monitor here the playback of that tape. So, I'm rewinding. Uh-oh. Oh, I think it died, wait a minute. Oh no, it died, oh no, what are we gonna do? Uh, let's try powering it up again. Okay. Well, we know the camera didn't play back the tape, so we know the VCR section is so. Oh, hey, hey, finally. Okay, since this Panties NuvaCon tube is well on its way to Deadsville, I have to decide what to do with this camera. Do we crush it or do we keep it? Oh, yeah. That's a tough call, so while the lab rats and I think about it, let's take a quick break and we'll be right back. Oh! What's wrong, Phil? Ah, oh, jeez, Dave, my shoulder is killing me after lugging around this Panasonic PV200D all morning. Oh, you have camcorder shoulder. That's the worst. Camcorder shoulder? Yeah, try this. Ben Gay? It's ultra strength Ben Gay with camcorder shoulder relief formula. You sure this will work? You bet. Give it a try. With Ben Gay's fast acting camcorder shoulder relief formula, it gets right down to the muscle fast, so you'll be back and ready to record in no time. Wow, my shoulder feels great, Dave. I, I can film all day. <laughs> it's soccer, Phil. You just may have to. <laughs> Ultra Strength Ben Gay with camcorder shoulder relief formula is available at Bradley's. So, after some careful consideration, not really, uh, the lab rats and I decided it is time to recycle this Panasonic PV200D. Woohoo! Let's go do it! I believe the Panasonic PV200D was certainly a significant step in the evolution of the camcorder, so that's why I felt it was worth adding to my collection, and I hope you think so too. Well, that wraps up another edition of our show. The Lab Rats and I would like to thank you for stopping by. We hope you had a great time and look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care, my retro tech friends, and remember to always keep your heads clean. Yeah, let's crush it! Good. Oh, wait, one more time, but no laughing at the end. You guys voice. have no idea just how hard it is to produce this show. It's soccer, Phil. You just may have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh no, you should have kept that.